guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with some of my little frames that we made recently. I've got the um, frames here and I've also got these ones with the, um, you know, the see-through stickers that we kind of were using up. And then I've got some of my mass made items. I just wanted to replenish some of my stocks because my stocks are running low. Um, and so I thought that I would come along and just decorate one or two of these pieces so that I can get, you know, just a bunch more things ready to go um, for my junk journal. So just going to get literally started kind of placing these around. So I haven't really got kind of a, you know, fixed idea of what I'm going to be using on what, but I'm just going to place them on where I think. So, I mean, that one's quite nice on there, to be honest. So I've got my distress ink to hand. Oops, got a label there. Honestly, these things are just like floating around here. So just going to pull things in from my desk. Kind of a bit like, you know, when Rachel over at Roxy Creations, she does the, you know, what's what's in my box, what's on my desk, kind of ephemery type bits. I thought we'd just do one of those types of um, videos really today. So I hope everybody is doing well. Maybe you are doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Do share below what you're working on currently because it's always really great to hear, you know, what everybody's working on. Again, I'm just using, you know, things that are laying about. So don't want to kind of spend too long picking things specifically, but just pulling in anything and everything that happens to be here. So I've got some sorry silk here. Maybe we could have some of that ruffled across, maybe at the top there. And actually, I'm just thinking, got this lace here. I wonder if we could just use that. Oh, okay. So that looks very pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to glue that on. I'm going to just glue it on with my hot glue. Oh, my goodness, when I say that. No, my hot glue is now not really, oh, not squeezing out. Okay. Oh, it's a really chilly day here today. <laughs> it's very, very autumnal. I've got like a big polo neck on and a um, jumper as well. You know, big, thick cardigan. Yeah, dressed properly for winter. And I mean, I don't know when this video will go up, but trust me, it's not winter yet. So, oh, I don't know why it's feeling quite so cold. But I mean, I do really feel the cold. But yeah, this is not, not very fun. And you know shouldn't be this cold so far um but just sometimes it just yeah it just gets really cold really quickly doesn't it and this year it seems to have just got really cold really quick so again just picking up li little bits that I've got laying around this sorry silk i just thought it went so brilliantly with the flowers so if i could incorporate it somewhere i'd like to I'm going to just pop this lace down here it's just some crocheted lace um, come on. Oh. honestly i've not used my glue yet today so of course now it's not wanting to not wanting to cooperate with me oh my goodness i did have a um paper clip that i'd you know, pulled open to be able to unclog the glue. Here we go. Always handy. Okay. Let's pop that down. Yeah, it's really raining today. It's really grey. I mean, I'm filming this on a Saturday. I don't generally very often film on a Saturday, but... I wanted to, um, you know, get ahead of it. So, yeah, I'm filming this on a Saturday. And honestly, it's so horrible out there. It's just really, really, really miserable weather. So, yeah, not kind of, um, not missing out on anything by filming on a Saturday, I must say. Oh, I have to say, I'm quite liking that up there now. Oh, do you know, I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to put it that way round. Just for a bit of unexpected you know, effect. So just going to cut this down slightly. 
just so it's not going to overhang. So I'm going to glue this, um, yeah, with my wet glue, I think. So debating there whether to glue it with the hot glue or the wet glue. I'm going to go with the wet glue, but I might just put a dab of hot glue over here where the staples are. So just because it's a little bit sort of bulky there. So just to help it glue down. There we go. Oh my goodness, isn't that so pretty? Absolutely love that. Okay, let's get our sorry silk. Yeah, I'm going to ruffle this across here. So sort of unexpected to have it ruffled across here. Now let me just see if I've got some slightly thinner sorry silk. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Is that a bit bright? Probably. See, now I'm thinking, oh, that's a bit dull. The other one was a bit bright. That's a bit dull. What about this one? Mm. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it really probably doesn't matter. I mean, once I've glued it on, you know, we won't even remember what the other one looked like, will we? So it's just whilst we've got the choices, it, it does matter then, doesn't it? It's like, oh want to make the right choice but once once we've gone with it you know that will no longer even be a thing there we go and then i'm going to ruffle it across the do i want to it's going to ruffle it across the top of or the rest of that lace but i'm actually just thinking to be honest it looks quite cool it's just like off like that I think yeah like that so let's just oops glue this down like that oh my gosh doesn't that look gorgeous absolutely love how that looks it's so pretty yeah really really like that now I've just got some little flower trim do I want some of that somewhere Oops. Oh gosh, every time I touch anything, look, it's flicking other things into the table, so onto the desk. Sorry about that. Uh, don't you have that there? Don't want it like central. Mm -hmm. We could have it up here. Oh, that's quite pretty. Yeah, let's put it up there. Now, do I have any pink butterflies? Because I'd love to have a butterfly down here. I don't think I've actually got any. Yet again, I'm at that stage where I need to print some more butterflies. I mean, oh my goodness, I seem to print them all of the time. But I have got some green ones, so we could... Could potentially use a green one. So let's just try this. So these are my roses collection papers, and these are my frames pieces so yeah and if you didn't see the original video these are just um they're some see-through stickers that I'd had for a long time didn't really know what to do with them so I laminated them and then I just fussy cut around them and stapled them on and I talked about it in that video but the reason why I didn't just staple them straight on you know when they were just stickers well it's twofold really firstly obviously then you've got a sort of vulnerable point of the sticker backing you know wanting to lift up and then they become stickers again um and also in addition to that they are obviously quite flimsy as stickers and once you've laminated them they then become you know much stronger so that's why that's why i've laminated them but i just absolutely love how they look i have to say you know on the frames they are just absolutely gorgeous there we go that's the first one isn't that so pretty okay let's put that to one side right next one let's do this one so again this is the same sort of pocket um it's an envelope pocket so let's just pull in some of these frames mm. that one's quite nice well we could do like a bit of a contrast and have something like that that's quite nice, to be honest. Right, let's keep these two handy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could have that one. 
I think I'm going to go for this one. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is so annoying. I wish that I printed some more butterflies. Okay. I know all the time we talk about this, but, you know, no matter how many things that we have, we never got quite the right thing, do we? So you can just never have enough stuff laying around in your stash. Okay. My desk is so, so, so messy at the moment. I really need to do um, maybe another x -Piles series or something like that, to be honest. I, um, yeah, need to get on top of it. It's getting sort of, you know, like uncontrollably messy. It's, yeah, it's getting to the point where it's like, oh my goodness, I need to get on top of this mess. I'm not sure whether I think that really goes, to be honest, but... Just have a look. I've got some, some labels here. Could have something like that. Let's just bring this up. Okie dokie. About like that. That's quite pretty. Got some lace here. Mm. Could have it perhaps poking out that to the side something like that oh that's quite pretty isn't it right let's put this on I mean it's annoying because that's not really the right color butterfly is it but oh how I wish that I had printed off some more butterflies oh. really 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 must do things like that Right, now I've talked about this before as well, but a little tip for if you're gluing something like here, where it's going to be hanging over the pocket, I put down something, you know, card is brilliant, like that. And that just gives me a guide for where I want to glue to. So, oops, I'm going to just use my hot glue straight away. And that way I know that where I've glued up to is the point whoops where this is going to be sat if you see what i mean so like that it's just a kind of bit of a um you know quick way instead of trying to avoid putting glue at the top bit that you want to have hanging off of your pocket i.e there oops just got a bit of glue seeping out there um if you do that with the card you know that that's the door, your cutoff point where you glue to. So it just, I think, really is helpful, you know, to do that. Now, just wondering if I'd, I could have a wax seal anywhere. And that's quite pretty. I'm not sure it's right, quite the right colour, but I do quite like it. Mm, this might be better, a bit more pink. Mm. Well, let's try it up there. I could do with some more lace on this. Uh, again, just, you know, looking at things that I've got laying about. So, could have something like that. I don't know really whether I think that goes or not, if I'm truthful. Probably prefer it down here. <sighs> ah, what about this one? Yeah, I think this is better because it's much better shape. So, yeah. The other one was just seeming a little bit too too big. Okay. Let's pop some glue down here. Honestly, I mean, I love having loads of bits in my stash just ready to go. It makes making a journal so much quicker and easier. This was just lace that was, you know, loitering around on the desk. Oops, might as well throw that piece away. I know it's a waste, but hey, it was very tiny. I'm not sure quite what I could actually do with that, to be honest. But yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, now, mm, butterfly-wise. I mean, I had kind of thought this, but to be honest, it's not really, yeah, it's not really right, is it? 
so you know although i'm trying to just make use of things that i've got laying around rather than you know print off more stuff it just it's not right that one's also not not quite right that's annoying mm. let me just see i've got some labels here so this is my um, vintage ephemera. I think this is set five. It could be set six. And as I've said that, I'm not even sure whether I've got a set six button. And they've been printed two to a page, so they're a bit smaller. Okay. Or maybe something like that. That's quite pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, let's put this down here. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Really, really pretty. Now, do I want to have the wax seal down the bottom? I feel I'm getting a lot of things squished up on the bottom, to be honest. So, probably... Probably best put it sort of up the top, really, but mm. I wonder if I could have it on the on the edge of the mm -hmm. I think I quite like it down there to be honest. So yeah, let's put this down. This one it's got a lot of burnt black on it where the wax obviously got too hot and it burnt the the wax and it burnt the you know the spoon that you make the wax seals with so that's what the black is on that wax seal which is a bit of a shame because it sort of spoils it a bit but it looks okay doesn't it so that's two done so oh we're racing through these honestly just having these little toppery type pieces you know they're much like a cluster it just really speeds up the the process of actually pulling things together so this is one of those cute pockets with the sort of torn pieces so again let's just ink this up these are made from my documents collection papers okay let's just see right mm. that's quite nice do we want to have a blue or should we have something more contrasty I mean, that's quite nice on there. I know that's, you know, that's quite a contrast, but this is quite nice, isn't it? Or we could have one of these. Oh my goodness, maybe something more like that for a bit more of a sort of impact. Could even have it hanging off the page. So as the flower is, you know, hanging off. That's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe over there. Right, let's think this up. Okay. So, yeah, if we have that there, and then, oh, I just happen to have these labels, which they're brilliant colour match, aren't they? Okay. I say that, now I'm thinking, oh, perhaps, perhaps the top one would have been a better colour that sort of slightly more teal type colour I've got really bad vertigo today it's really annoying I just get it from time to time and um oh, I mean sometimes it's kind of stress related sometimes it's um you know like if I've been really working a lot and looking down I can get it I have been doing a lot of work lately so it could be that but it's so annoying because um, it makes you feel really wheezy and, you know, obviously not very nice. So, yeah, it's very distracting. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous does that look? So I'm going to glue this down. Actually, I'm going to glue it down with the hot glue just for speed. Like that. 
And also this is then elongating that pocket, which makes it look even prettier still, doesn't it? So let's just take that off there. Okie dokie. Right, let me just have that there. So again, going to just glue this down with the wet glue and then I'm just going to reinforce it with just some hot glue over where the staple is. I mean, I'm only doing that really because that's, oops, the staple is likely to cause a bit of a sort of lifting effect. So just a bit of hot glue there. Just gives it a bit of a sort of helping hand to, to glue down quickly, if you see what I mean. Otherwise, when it's got a bit of a raised bit like that, I feel like I need to keep on pressing it to try and get it to actually stay glued down. So by just having it glued down, that's just quite helpful. Okay. Pop the label there. Okie dokie. I will do this with the hot glue. Oh my goodness, didn't check whether it was up the right way or not. Let's hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Again, just digging around. Got some pearly trim here. Oh my goodness! Doesn't that pearly trim just finish that off perfectly? Again, it was just laying it out. Laying it out on the desk. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look so pretty? Absolutely love, 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 love that pocket. So gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so that's another one. Wow, we are really racing through these, which is awesome, isn't it? Right, I've got a couple of, oh, a couple of these. These are those book page pockets. We made these in a mass making, but then I made these particular ones after the mass making. Um, so they were made as like a book page pocket, but yeah, I made these, um, you know, from decorative papers more. So a, a twist on the book page pockets, if you see what I mean. I'm just going to quickly trim down here because it's a little bit skew oh, Let's hope that I've improved this and not actually made it worse. So far, yes, I think I have made it worse. Okay. And it's very hard to say. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, yes, I've made that way worse. So, couldn't even tell you now which bit was wonky in the first place, but okay, so that's a bit better. Right. Okie dokie. So, let's ink these up a little bit. I might just round the corners as well of this. So, oops, get my corner rounder. Okay. Oh, a bit blunt. Corner's not really rounded very well, but let's just go over that a bit. Okay, looks a bit better. Should we round the corner of this one as well? It's just kind of a little bit of a different look, isn't it? With the um, oh, the rounded corners. Right. Let's ink these up a bit. Yeah, I loved these, to be honest. So, yeah, I can't remember which week this was in the mass making, but we did them with the book pages. And then after the video, you know, a couple of weeks afterwards, I thought, well, actually, there's no reason why I couldn't do those with patterned paper instead. So I just did the exact same method, but with the patterned paper which I thought just looked really gorgeous. So, yeah, there's a bit of a different different take on them. Right, look here. I mean, obviously these are quite big pockets, so I probably want to have something biggish. I mean, that's quite lovely on there. Um, I mean, I was going to keep it neutral with like this brownie one, but yeah, I think actually... That one's quite nice. Just check. Oh, I've got this one. 
maybe this. Oh, some of the others have got buried under here, so let's just double check some of these. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, maybe that one. Yeah. I'm just going to check this one. I love this one. I'm just wanting to hoard it. Can you tell? Ridiculous. Terrible, terrible behaviour. Right, okay. So, again, just think these up a bit. Now, because this is quite a big page pocket, I actually feel I need some some paper in the background to all in the background of this. So, let's just have a look. Oh, gosh, that's not... This is my Paris Bouquet papers. These are my Rich Damas set two, and this is the Roses papers. I just wondered whether they would go, but brilliantly. That's not too bad on there, actually. Okay, let's just give that a little torn effect. Okay, and oh, just seeing whether I've got any of my Roses papers in my little scraps bag here probably have if I'm honest because I use them a lot so yeah be surprised if I don't have oh, here we go I knew I would because um like I say I use them all the time now you know they've become very quickly one of my favorite favorite papers to use but this like I say this one's my Paris bouquet papers so just wonder whether we could have that Oh my goodness, doesn't that look gorgeous? Love, love, love how that looks. Let me just tear this down slightly more. Like that. Okay. Like that. And... Right, now. Oh, thinking that might look quite nice. So let's just put this down. This is actually printed on some thicker paper. So ordinarily, I would probably use thinner paper for just, you know, background decoration. But yeah, this just happens to be printed on 230 GSM. So we'll just use this anyway. We're racing through these, I have to say. Yeah, I feel like we've made quite a few already, or, you know, decorated quite a few already, so. It's feeling really rewarding, because hopefully we're going to have, like, tons to be able to add into our, you know, ready-made ephemera packs. Oh, I can't decide. Right, now, I wonder what this would look like if we did, you know, like we did with that blue one where we just elongate the pocket at the bottom like that and then have the sorry silk going across there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so in fact, let's do this like we did with the other one. So we'll just hot glue this down. Again, I mean, the hot glue is just really handy sometimes because it just speeds things up without having to keep pressing them down. Okay. That one. And then here. Oh, I really love this one. I'm really surprised that I'm actually parting with this one, to be honest. Well, I say parting with it. Who knows? I'll probably end up where I then hoard this in terms of the entire pocket. So, yeah, I probably won't actually be using this. I'll probably just then go on to hoard it. But you know, in terms of hoard it on the pocket rather than actually as the as the piece itself. Okay, so that's that one. Now, just see whether whether we might have one of these. Quite quiet outside traffic wise obviously everyone's decided the weather's too disgusting to actually bother going out so yeah 
it was quite quiet and sort of calm out there. Well, let's be honest, who wants to be going out when it's raining and cold? Not me, that's for sure. Right, let's put that on there. Okay. Like that. Now, do we want this one? Or this one? I know there's probably not much between the two, but it does kind of matter, doesn't it? You know, let's use this one. Okay. Let's do it this way round. Oh, used it like the worst way up, I think. More difficult way to get to, so oh, perhaps I'll have to go this way. No, I want to do it this way. Oh, right. So just put some glue down there okay ruffle that and then here there we go like that Oh my goodness, how lovely is that one? So, snip this off here. Oh my goodness, isn't that a lovely pocket? That's so pretty. Absolutely so pretty. Right, just having a look to see if I've got any bling or anything. Mm. Don't know what's happened to my bling. I wonder if we could just have a couple of flowers or something here. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really even need anything, but if you can add a bit of bling or anything, then why wouldn't you? Like that. Okay. I must stop with this whole trying to use the, um, uh, what do you call them, wax seals. It's just because they're sat beside me and I just really like them, so... Yeah, I've got this kind of thing where I keep on them wanting to pull them in and use them. But yeah, I should stop that really. You know, they don't necessarily go on everything, do they? Okay. So yeah, let's just have a little bit of the pink, pink paper. Mm. Way around or that way. Just going to tear this down because I don't like then seeing the straight oops, straight edge. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit like that. Oops. Just think this up a bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're quite a nice alternative to clusters, aren't they? To be honest. You know, just as quick and easy for finishing your pieces of ephemera off, but just something a little bit different. Right, okay, let's glue that down. Okay. like that and then shall we see if we can extend this one like we did the others I mean this is quite a big pocket anyway so I'm not really sure whether it needs you know extending further if I'm true for but or could mix it up and have the lace here and have the sari silk here Well, you know, we could have neither of those things. What do we think to that? If I'm truthful, I'm not sure that this um, piece really goes on here. So I might have to switch it up. Yeah, I feel like this one goes a little bit better. Okay. 
Mm. Or I did have some ivory sari silk. So let's just see. Ah, where is that gone? Oh, let me just reach and get some more. Hang on. Oops. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. I knew I had some here somewhere. Just couldn't see it for a minute. Again, let's just try switching it around. Okay, right. I'm going to put this down, I think. Just want to really check that I'm, you know, that I'm definitely happy with this. So let's just see if we have this. Oops. Trying to be much more adventurous and kind of mix my colours up and things a bit more. Now I've talked about this before. The only problem is, is, you know, like if I mix them up too much, then I'm just going to end up with pieces that I would then struggle to use. So, you know, though I'm mixing them up, I need to still be sort of mindful of, oh, eventually I might want to use this, you know. Um, rather than just like totally gung-ho going, oh, let's just put everything on here. You know, because sometimes that can then just go against you really, can't it? You know, and then you'll be like, oh my goodness, what was I thinking there? Do we like that one? And I'm thinking, oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> Let's try this one. I mean, that one's quite nice, to be honest. It's a bit smaller. But I don't mind it being smaller. Uh, oh, let's try on a wax seal, as that's my, my thing of the moment. No, not that one, that's for sure. No. Hmm. Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's just see. Again, back to just wishing I had some other butterflies printed in some other colours. Could have really done with some pink ones printed off. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to have to stop the video and go and actually print them, but it's really annoying me. Mm. Right, I might do this one. Okay, yep. Just trim off that curly edge. Like that. Okay. Right, let's glue this down. Right, that one is here. Okay, now, mm, oh, I'm just scouring my desk. Oh, actually, just before I go with that, I'm now like, oh, hang on, I've got this cluster. I mean, they're quite different, to be honest, aren't they? Quite different looks. I feel like this one blends in quite a lot to be honest which is weird I don't know why it does but yeah for some reason it feels like it's blending in quite a bit oh got this I wonder if we could just have a bit of this somewhere it's just from my decorative edge strips but let's see I thought that might 
just be the contrast that I needed, but no, it's not that. Oh, isn't it so annoying sometimes when you just can't find the right piece? Hmm. I don't know now what to put on there. Got this. this let's see if we have that like that ah oh, that's that's quite nice isn't it okay let's pop that there I think like that I do have some pink lace this is going to be too bright I think but it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, I know that's not exactly probably the look we're going for, you know, not as bad as I thought, but I kind of quite like it. I'm just going to cut that header piece off. I always think that's quite um, like almost aggressive looking, isn't it? When it's quite a thick, thick header piece. Let's just put that there. Right, let's glue this down. Oh, I just love it when you're able to use you know, bits and pieces that otherwise have been laying around on the desk. So, yeah. Right. And I also can just use this piece here. That we might be able to put somewhere else. So maybe up there. Okay. Oh, I'm loving that. So, yeah, let's just glue this lace down on the bottom. Okie dokie. I'm going to have this popped on here. I'm just going to ink this up a bit. This is some... Um... Oh no, this isn't. I was going to say this is some vintage book page. It's not. This was some labels that I had. So yeah, let's just pop that down like that. So just going to hot glue this down. Like that. Okay. Just ink up this one. And, uh, now, do we want it right up the top like that? Could have it down here. There's more kind of decoration down there. Could have it up here. Could have it here to the side. It's kind of quite cute. Again, still wishing that I had some more butterflies in better colours, but hey, I don't. So, yeah, let's just work with what we've got. Right, I'm just going to snip this lace out. I know it sounds strange, but it's making quite a big um, difference, you know, and it's just distracting me a little bit. So let's just put that there. Okay, right. We've glued this, haven't we? Have we glued that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I just did? I just took that label and I've binned the label. I meant to bin those little scraps of lace and instead of doing that, I've binned the label. Luckily, my bin is, you know, it's only clean stuff. It's only paper. Well, paper and bits of lace and fabric in there. There's nothing dirty, so I was able to get it back out the bin, put the lace in there instead. Right, okay. Let's decide. We could have that down there. We could have this up here. We could have this over here. Kind of more in. We could have it down here. That's quite nice. Hmm. Quite liking it like that, I think. Or like that. I think down there. Okay, right, let's pop this on. Like that. Oh, that's so annoying because I really don't feel like that's the right butterfly, to be honest. But. Oh. Well, I'm going to have to just go for it because I haven't got any others here. So, yeah. Let's just, just go for it anyway. 
I could have it on the lace to be honest that's quite pretty that's over there like that oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look that took a long time getting that pocket quite right didn't it I couldn't quite um you know pull everything together it wasn't you know wasn't coming together quite as I'd hoped but yeah I like it now I've I've come to terms with it now and um happy with how it looks but it's weird isn't it how sometimes you just struggle with pulling things together and other times you know they just instantly gel and sort of come together don't know whether it's because like sometimes you've got the right pieces and sometimes just not got the right pieces but hey I do like how it looks now so oh my gosh nearly had a really big cluster of hot glue threads stuck on there okay oh love how that looks that's so 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 pretty isn't it yeah really really love that now have we got time for one more piece i'm not really too sure that we have if i'm truthful mm, just seeing whether there's something that's going to be quick and easy not really uh, oh that one that might be quite quick and easy right let's just ink around here so okie dokie right see what piece would look cute on here i go straight away for like the pink ones you know because i think oh that's going to tone it might actually look good more with a contrast more like this type of thing um yeah i just always try and sort of tone it up but you know this paper has got some blue in it as well so there's no reason why we couldn't couldn't have the blue let's do the blue on here Oh, I can't wait to put these in my stash. <laughs> I know that just sounds like pathetic, but oh, I just love it when I see my stash kind of like, you know, building up and expanding. It's like, oh, yay, I've got more, more things ready. I mean, all that happens is then, of course, I don't want to use the things. And I find myself then wanting to actually hoard everything, which ridiculous why bother having the stash and then not wanting to use it you know that's just crazy behavior isn't it right. just going to try this here on this side i automatically always try and put things on the right and i've talked about this before i can only think that that's because i'm right-handed i don't really know but Let's put this on the left because then the blue is showing more from the paper, which, you know, is probably better, isn't it? Now, I've got this very delicate lace here. This might be too... Oh, no. Not as delicate as I thought. I thought it was like that, but actually it's not. Oh, there's no reason why I couldn't cut it down, I suppose. Hmm. Just her bow shaking, shaking herself off. She's obviously got up. I just heard my son go downstairs to the kitchen and he's obviously making breakfast. So she's probably heard him, you know, heard heard the food or the cupboard or something. And she's like, whoa, there's food about. I'd best get up. She's been asleep on my bed. Got like a throw on the bed and um, she loves it she you know as soon as i've made the bed she's there she's there burrowing straight under the throw she just really really loves it it's her favorite place to be so yeah sometimes she goes under the actual duvet must be like when she's really cold so who knows she might have been under the duvet just now but yeah she was under the under the throw just checking whether i might prefer that one it's a bit too blue uh, right, oh, what did I do with that label that I retrieved from the bin? Mm -hmm. No, now I've lost that again. Honestly, I mean, I just that second retrieved it, didn't I, from the bin. And now already it's gone again. Oh, that's so annoying. 
so annoying. And it can only be pushed in amongst this bunch of stuff somewhere. Oh. Mm. I don't think we could have that there. It's quite pretty, isn't it? I'm just wondering, because I do have some blue blue butterflies. Just see. See whether we might want a blue one. And also, actually, I've got this. As I can't find that blue label now, unless it's under here. Right. Mm, who knows? Who knows where that's gone? Could have that on there as well. Or up there. I wonder if I was just to use some of it here and then use the crest up there. Oh. Ridiculous. I'm wanting to hoard this now. Don't ask me why. But yeah, wanting to hoard it and not really use it. Oh gosh. Crazy behaviour. So let's just tear this down. Again, this is from that vintage ephemera set, you know, whatever it was, five or six. And then it's got this gorgeous crest. So I'm thinking fussy tear around the crest. You know, not really kind of like close to the shape, but, you know, just somewhere vaguely around it. Like that. Okay. I wonder whether that could be in there, but no, it doesn't really kind of like. And do you know what? It's another one of those pieces that's kind of lost its identity. Since I've cut it out, it's, yeah, it's lost its identity now. It's no longer recognisable as, as a crest or anything else. But hey, just because it's not on here, it might be on something. So I will keep it because it might just, you know, might just work for something else. Let's just pop that down there. Okie dokie. Like that. Just pop this one down. Actually. Just check. Right, I'm just going to glue this down. Again, just gluing it with the hot glue, which is just going to pop that paper down. Uh, pop that lace. Sorry, not paper. Lace down. And take it. Like that. Right, which way did we like this? Do we like it better this side or do we like it better this side? The reason I swapped it was because I thought that paper has got some blue on that side. So, oh gosh. Again, just struggling to see the right side and the wrong side. There we go, have it that way up. Um, yeah, just had some blue on there, which I thought was then nice. Ooh, nice to be able to have the blue, tying the blue in. Okay. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? To have the butterfly in the centre there. Let's just try this blue butterfly. Okay, can't wait to count up how many we've done in a minute. So, yeah, had a very nice time, I have to say. Like, really enjoyed doing these few bits. Okay. So I hope you feel inspired to maybe dig out some of your mass-made items or, you know, your um, building up your ready-made stash. I know I've said all of this before, but honestly, there's nothing more satisfying than having like a bunch of ready-made things. Well, that's quite cute. I don't know why, but yeah, I've never really done that before. Where you put like things lined up, not not like in a 
direct line but you know just lined up rather than having the butterfly at an angle just have it line, oops, lined up there to the side it looks quite nice to be honest so yeah let's just put it there like that oh my goodness doesn't that look gorgeous right just see see what else i've got here laying around in terms of gems and bling and that type of stuff you know might not actually need anything but just in case oh, it's a bit too too big isn't it but yep and that's like that was doing that whole lined up thing that i said about oh not trying to do that maybe that in the center there okay like that uh, still trying to use this crest i know ridiculous but oh, i mean it's not bad there i don't know don't know whether it's really adding anything but see then i take it away and think oh and it's quite plain without it oh, okay let's just put it down because otherwise it's it's just something else floating around on the desk, to be honest. I might as well use it, might I say. So. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie. Right, let's do a count up then of all the pieces that we've just done. So, yeah, I feel like we've not done bad. Right, we've got one, two, three, four five six so six i don't think that's too bad um you know uh use of time i don't know how long i've been filming for i can't really see um but yeah i think we've done okay so um yeah let me know below which one is your favorite i have to say really do love this one looks really pretty and of course i love this one because i just absolutely love how this piece looks here so yeah let me know which one's your favorite and um yeah thank you so much for watching really appreciate it if you did leave a comment in the um you know chat below and give this video a thumbs up so thank you so much and i will see you see you guys in the next video thanks then bye